But what are some of your key pain spots today? Well, um, usually, you know, like in my, um, I would say my wing, I would feel a pain. And what, is one side harder to lift? Well, that one you're making a face. It's something wrong, right? Yeah. So we have Jell here today. Here, come sit next to us for a second. So if you haven't seen her video yet, watch both videos. Uh, they're engaged to be married. They didn't pick a date yet. It's not up to me, so I can't pick a date. <laughs> but if I was gonna pick soon. a date, it would be soon. Yes. All right. Um, but your turn to work on. Okay. And um, has he been under a lot of stress lately, you think? Or last yeah. year or two? Yeah, yeah, stressed. Yeah. Like last, since his for like past three, four years. And he had neck surgery. Do you see the scar coming really close? So he had neck surgery where they went through the front of his neck and worked on his neck. Uh, I don't have all the records on that, so I'm not gonna do the Y strap on him today, but I can do the occipital lift because it's above it. Um, but what are some of your key pain spots today? Well, um, usually, you know, like in my, um, I would say my wing, you know, like right here. Mm -hmm. uh, I have sometimes like there's like pain under it. Like usually when I'm like, you know, like um, having my hand up for too long, or um, you know, maybe if I'm walking somewhere, mm -hmm. you know, I would feel like uh, after I like you know say I would get back home, I would feel a pain, like you know that's just like there, like almost as if somebody put something there, and it's just like a weight that's just sitting there, and then, okay. you know. How's your neck feel these days? Pretty good or not so good? My neck feels better than it did before, mm -hmm. um, but it um, it's like sometimes I get like a lot of like um, like like I wouldn't say like mild um, um, like like crick neck I would say, but um, I would also say like sometimes it's like you know like a pain like a shooting pain going up here. So you get you that know? top left like she does. Yeah. Um, so let's see, and then how about your lower back? My not lower back, um, not too bad anymore, no. All My right. lower back is cool. actually okay. So come stand, and here, let me get this out of the way so we don't trip on it. Okay, so we're going to shoot you from front, and I want to see you just bring your arm up and flop it over your head, okay? Good, and then do the other side. And what, Is one side harder to lift? Well, that it's one you're making a face. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's something wrong, right? Yeah. So put that one back down, and this time turn your palm to the ceiling, and now come up again. And it, it's to about there, yeah. and then it wants to stop, right? Yeah. Let's do this one and stop when it wants to stop. Well, we'll just, can you do it without making a face? So <laughs> go back this way, and I'm not making fun of his face. I just mean that's already meaning he should have stopped. Yeah. Because if if he's going pain to get it up the last two inches, I want to know far. where you need to stop so I can get to that border. Yes. Okay. So do it one more time. But you have to stop when you start feeling pain, or you have to stop when your body goes, eh, okay? okay? So I can see it before and after, right there, right? Because what happens if you go even an inch further? <laughs> Look, the, yeah. right? So then we see the symptom, yeah. right? That's okay, you're, you're teaching us, okay? So now, one more time, and notice the arm is even cheating forward. So I want him to really stay in the coronal plane, which is this plane, like if I pushed him between two plates of glass. Yeah. So it's, it should be here. So start again, relax that arm, relax it, let it limp. And bring it up again, keep your head straight, and stop when it needs to stop. And can you keep your arm straight? So it goes straight. No, straight like this. Okay, and then bring it up. Oh. Right about there, right? Let me stand in front of him. So I'm gonna do a passive lift on him. So let's start on the good side, okay? Passive lift means I get the whole weight of your arm. And I just bring it up myself. And it's about there, it doesn't want to go any further. So let's do a passive lift on this side. Passive means he's not helping me actively. Keep the palm up, keep the arm straight, and I'm gonna lift it myself. It's already stopped there. Did you feel a jerk here? Yeah. We already hit a twang of pain. So mm -hmm. stop again, and tell me where you feel that twang of pain. So let the arm relax. It's too, it's, I'm supposed to hold the weight, remember? Right. So let me hold the weight. Right. Let me hold the weight, it should drop if I let go. There you go, so I'm holding the weight now. And as I bring it up, you've got a wince of pain, so point to where you feel the wince. Okay, and he's pointing back here. And that's kind of opposite around the area of the disc that he worked on, but now it's on the opposite side. 
So let's do something else. You can hold your fingers out, spread them apart. Don't let me squish these together, okay? So hold them as far mm -hmm. apart as you can. Tight. That's strong, that's strong, that's strong, that's strong. That's good, let's do this hand. That's strong, that's strong, that's strong, good. So bend your hands down. So here, you're gonna bend it down against me. You know, there you go, you're really strong. And push it back up, push it back up. Like, what do you mean? Like um, push it oh, up, gotcha. okay, push, good, he's strong. And bend this down, push down. Yeah, he's a strong guy. And then push up. All right, so you're okay there. So you don't have any nerve damage that I should worry about. Come sit here in this chair and face the camera. <laughs> so I'm gonna release a few little things. And um, first I'm gonna come into this bad spot here where you were wincing. Okay. So now, I'm gonna have you start working that shoulder up. So sit up tall, okay? And I'm gonna work the collarbone first and bring this all the way up. Bring it up and bring it down. So I'm doing the collarbone. Bring it all the way up. You gotta work it. Okay. And keep working it. Good. And let's do under here now. motioning it. She knows her shit. Good. And now let me do the levator scapula. Okay. I'm doing the thoracics. And keep bringing it all the way up to your arm, touching your head. And yeah, and you can uh, flop it over. So this time you bring it up and <laughs> flop it over. Good. And let's do this side now. Start lifting this arm. Good, and drop it down for a second. And let me get the forearm too. Good, and let me get this forearm. That should kill. Good, and let me come around this way, turn this way, turn, turn, turn. Head back. Good. Start again with lifting the right arm only the way we did before. Ready? Go ahead and do it again. Wow. Does it feel different? Wow. Like a new man. It feels like you're a new person, right? Wow. I know. Bro. <laughs> Less pain, right? Yeah, bro. I don't even know what to say, bro. It's crazy. It like so Good. So now do the left arm. <laughs> And there's more, because now I've got to release this, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now I'm going to bend your head this way. Hmm. Drop, drop. Let it go. Mm. Got it. Drop your head this way. Got it. Now try lifting the arms again. Sit up tall, though, so you're not slouching. Okay, float those arms up. Ooh. Can you bring it up higher? Yeah. Good. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Now bring up the Still biceps. Little, Where's it catching? Still a little crack in here. But less less but pain, it's right? Less pain. Like I could definitely like reach my hand. Like I don't yeah. probably like you know I wouldn't say I'm gonna play basketball right now, but yeah. that's exactly <laughs> where my mode is going. All right, and then do the other arm. And where's it catching now? So where's now. it getting stuck? I mean now that one feels now it's like it's going up, it's up more, like it's right right here. But where where is it reaching? So maybe is it up here? Reach up to show me where it's catching. Oh it catches right here. Okay, so yeah. let's do a little there. Alright. Good. Good. Sit up tall. And we're going to do a little more in there. This is not going to be pretty.
Okay, now lift that arm. Wow. Okay, lift it again. Okay, lift this one. It's still catching on this side. But I think it's catching underneath. Do you feel it? Yeah, right here. Yeah, so we got to release the lat and the serratus anterior next. And that one's a little different, so you got to do that one differently. They're not always the same, you know? So now put that hand above your head. You're not going to like this either, but it's good to get. your hand above your head. Reach up. Now this should kill because my thumb's into his armpit. Push, push this over. Ooh. That's the spot. All right. There it is. All right, now try it. Sit up straight. Do it. <laughs> Good, lie on your back, there's more. You're complicated. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry about that. Man. It's okay. <laughs> Scoot down this way. A little stiff and complicated. <laughs> okay. A little more on this one. Drop. There we go. Hallelujah on that one. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Ah, ankle went. Lie on your side facing this way. Bend this knee. Beautiful. Come to this side. All right. Got it. All right, come stand again. Let me have these wrists. Good, stand in front of him with the camera. Good posture, stand up straight. Lift the right arm all the way as best you can. Any pain? No, but it's a still a little bit like a little retraction, but I could yeah, feel it's where it's a little stiff at the top. Yes, but I, pain free. Pain free. Yes, I could feel actually feel where you like actually like like right yeah. here. And you need a little work, but this yeah. is the other side. But it's pain free. Right? Yes, yeah. pain free. Same as this one. We're pain need free. Some more work. Yeah, little work. Mm. Yeah. Where do you feel a catching on this one? On this one. Is this the worst side? Yes, it's catching, still catching, like a little All bit. Right. Like, I would say, like... All right, so we're going to do a little left. You're going to lie face down. Okay. Put your nose in that paper. There's no paper, but lie right here. Yes, please. Okay. It's catching right there, right? Yes. Right in there. This should kill. Does that kill? Keep breathing. All right, good. Lie on your side facing the camera. And throw this arm over your head. Now you're gonna just make your arm touch your head so I don't do this to you ever again. Come stand, or you can sit in front of us, okay? Yes. <laughs> Remember to sit up straight. 
Let me try your arm one more time. Right arm. Can you lift it higher? Get the bicep closer to your face. So bring it all the way over if you can. This is far as I can go. Okay, good. And start again. Do a few more. Well, you don't have to wing it that fast, okay? So go <laughs> slow again. Not bad, right? Not bad at all. Good. We do the other side. Okay. And I think that's all we're going to do today. And, and this is a process, not a procedure. And I always say that about chiropractic. It's not a one-day-off thing. Everybody wants it to be. They watch this or they watch some of the other people on YouTube that put up their adjustments and they go, wow, that's all I need to do is fly to North Carolina, South Carolina, Texas, California, New York, and I'll just get one thing and it'll fix my body forever. But how long did it take for your body to get all effed up? 10 years plus. And he's only 28. Yeah. So can he possibly like rearrange his whole body in 20 minutes? Maybe, but probably not because he has patterns of stress and his fascia is all twisted and tight, wrapping around every muscle in his body. And we released a lot. And the cool thing is that we show the potential of what his body's capable of restoring. So things that he thought were chronically in pain that he'd just have to deal with for years to come, what we see in this short time is that this stuff can be released and that through the process of working on it, he can reclaim what he had before. And I got it pretty darn close to a really, at least a natural place to live your life yes. um, in a one short treatment. But what if he did two or three more treatments? You would start to see him reclaim his 28 year old body and not feel 38 when he's 28. So that's the whole idea of this. I'm glad you watched today. Please encourage him and leave him a nice comment and wish him success in the future. Thank you so much. Now I gotta release this, okay? So now I'm gonna bend your head this way.